If you've been watching these stupid videos and you have a good memory, you remember that at some point I was messing around switching between NVIDIA sync mode, which is akin to using only the discrete GPU and NVIDIA offload mode, which is akin to using the Intel GPU during regular operations. And uh, at one point I opened up Emacs while I was in sync mode and it was tiny, it was very small. And I just found out why that was by a comment in the NVIDIA, sorry, in the uh, NixOS, um, in the NixOS NVIDIA page, um, OS NVIDIA, let's see here. Uh, it's because the NVIDIA sync mode puts you in 72 DPI mode by default, but we can change that. So we never have that problem again, ever in life, ever as long as we use NixOS. So let's do that. Um, so the, the, the issue is that when we open some programs and the operative word being some, because this is not true of all, of all X programs, each has, each camp has their own way of determining which DPI it should use. And I think, I think like, um, uh, I put it this way, it is a maze of, uh, of, of, of endless corners uh, to figure out how a particular application uh, computes its DPI. But some, if you notice that some of your applications are small, well, here's how to fix it. So, um, right now I am in, and here's how we figure that out. I am in uh, uh, offload mode. That's be I can see that I'm in offload mode because I have a graphics processor that's an Intel processor, according to About in KDE. You can also figure that out by just going into NVIDIA settings if you're not running KDE. And you can see there's not much here in NVIDIA settings when you're in offload mode. There's probably some other way to figure it out. Whatever, man. Uh, so um, let's... Now, right now, if I... If I start a Nix shell um, with the right software in it, this XORG XDPY info shell, this will start a Nix shell with that stuff available to us. And if I do something like uh, something like what's shown over here, uh, oops, not over there. That's not right. Um, you'll see that I have, it, it knows that I have a 1080p screen and it thinks the size of it is this. Now I have no idea what my screen's actual size is. I'm not gonna sit here and figure it out with a ruler. I don't care. I'm gonna pretend that it's, that it should be 96 by 96 DPI. Um, and uh, right now, everything looks pretty good. So I'm, that's, that's, the, that's the resolution that I'm gonna con con consider ca canonical. Um, uh, this is not Adobe here. We're not, we're not all that concerned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to switch into sync mode, uh, which implies editing my, my Nix configuration here. And remember that Ed Nix here is just an alias for, um, editing my configuration on Nix. So Nix. Offload, nope, 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 not that stuff. Currently I'm in offload mode. I want to switch to sync mode. That'll make me use the GPU, the NVIDIA GPU. Nix. <clears throat> and note that I found also that there's no need to reboot. Um, various distributions are a bit mental about switching between uh, discrete mode and hybrid mode um, when you 
that some of them tell you to reboot all the way. Some of them tell you to log out. In this, in this, logging out is sufficient. You don't need to. You don't need to reboot. It's fine. How do you do that? So I'm going to do that, and I shall be back. Here we are back in sync mode, um, which means we're using the NVIDIA GPU. And if I fire up Emacs here, man, it's pretty small. It's not as big as it would be if I had just fired that up in, in offload mode. So the reason for that is that if we go into same next shell and we offer the same command here, uh, it's 75 dots per inch. It thinks my screen is actually physically smaller for some reason. So, or physically bigger, is that right? Physically bigger. So, um, so that's not quite right. We don't want that. We, and, and again, I don't know whether it actually is in reality 75 dots per inch or it's 96 dots per inch, but I'm going to pretend that it's 96 dots per inch just for fun because it looks the best like by default. So, um, let's see, we'll go into Ednix. We will go to services, X server stuff. By the way, this is a super handy feature here. Um, if you are, have been around Linux for some time, you'll know that you used to be able to press control alt backspace in an X session and it would kill the X session and restart your login manager. Um, that stopped working in most distributions for probably good reason. Uh, probably it caused problems. Uh, maybe you lost data or something. But if you don't care so much uh, about that and you just want an easy way to kill your X session, enable that feature in there. And you'll be able to press Control Backspace, kill your X session. Bob's your uncle. So let's do this. Let's copy this into here. mode. I'm just going to tell X, ignore what you guess about our DPI. Our DPI is 96. All right, then I'm going to Swinix, which again is just an alias for NixOS rebuild switch. <clears throat> And note in here now that our, um, since we're in sync mode, if we go to about, you can tell we're in sync mode because, well, other than everything small, that we have a graphics processor that says an NVIDIA processor here. And if we start up NVIDIA settings, we'll see a bunch more stuff that we can configure. In there. So now uh, we have our, DPI set in our configuration.nix, and I'm going to stop this thing once again, and we'll come back into our X session and see if anything changed. Here we are back in, we're still in sync mode, but now our DPI is set to 96. So now if we open up Emacs, wow, it's bigger. That's awesome. That's about what I expect. And that's exactly what it looks like when you're in hybrid mode as well. So the downside <laughs> is this becomes uh, the more difficult to determine whether in sync mode or offload mode by the size of windows, <laughs> but that's also a good thing. So, um, yeah, uh, hope, hopefully that helps someone. <laughs>